What's going on YouTube? My name is Jordan. I'm from Evolving Pythons Canada and welcome to my very first YouTube video slash vlog. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully the quality came out well. I don't really have a lot of experience using a camera or vlogging for that matter. So definitely out of my comfort zone a little bit, but uh, you know, we're definitely gonna put my best foot forward here and hopefully this whole video turns out fantastic. Okay, so today's topic is really gonna be just as an introduction to Evolving Pythons Canada, kind of uh, where I came from and where I'm headed and why is it, well, this is the biggest question I get on my Instagram is why is it that I'm always here and why are my animals here at Billy Rose's facility at Mutation Creations? Okay, so let's get right into this. So, eight months ago, I decided I wanted to get a ball python as a pet. Now, I've owned reptiles before. I actually had two boa constrictors and ball pythons in college. I also had a veiled chameleon, which was my first lizard I ever bought. Uh, he ended up living for a full seven years before he passed away from natural causes. That is pretty much life expectancy of uh, veiled chameleons. And uh, I was a hugely passionate in my younger years as well as my teens. And even still to this day, I had a lot of passion for reptiles. So back in January, I said to myself, you know what, I want to get a snake again. I've always loved snakes. I want a pet and I want a ball python because the color mutations and patterns are just so awesome. So I ended up booking some tickets. I went to my local Downsview show here in Toronto, Canada. I ended up meeting Billy Rose from Mutation Creations at the facility, or sorry, at the show. And uh, instantly when I walked up to his table, I saw row upon row of some of the most beautiful and coolest snakes I've ever seen in my life. And at that point, Billy said to me, well, why don't you come down to my facility, check out the awesome stuff that I have. And I'm well, who can turn that down? So a couple of weeks later, I actually ended up coming to this awesome facility you see behind me and uh, got a grand tour, a private tour with Billy, opened up a whole bunch of tubs, showed me some amazing stuff. I just couldn't believe it. And the first snake that really caught my eye was a dreamsicle. Now I had no idea this snake existed. I mean, I didn't even know what a dreamsicle was at the time. And when I saw it, my eyes were just like, wow, this thing is so ridiculously cool. So fast forward, you know, a lot of conversation three hours later, when I came here with the intentions of buying one animal, I ended up leaving here with three animals. So those three animals are just a regular pied, uh, which was the original one I was supposed to just leave here with. And then I ended up adding a beautiful lavender het pied. Uh, and then the third animal I bought was a black pastel double het for dreamsicle. So that's double head lavender pie. Those are the three first animals I bought back in January. And they were the first three that basically sparked this whole interest, this whole passion of mine back. And then you fast forward seven months later and now I've got 24 snakes uh, of amazing quality. And I'm just so thankful and so, so excited to get this whole project on the way. So uh, let's watch this video right now. I've, I've taken, a couple of, taken a couple of videos for you guys on those three snakes. Uh, so let's check them out right now. Okay guys, so as I said, I was going to showcase to you guys the very first three uh, snakes that I bought from Billy about six months ago. Uh, this happens to be one of them. So this girl is about a thousand grams now. Uh, this would be a lavender het pied. So uh, my favorite snakes have always been the piebalds. And uh, when I first saw a dreamsicle back about uh, six, seven months ago, I was just so blown away by how beautiful that snake is. So I definitely wanted to get into that project and I uh, decided to pick up this girl because she has some very nice size. So she was about 700 grams when I bought her and she's definitely put on another three, 400 grams since. She's getting big. Uh, she's got some beautiful lavender blushings coming down on the side of her body now and uh, she's gonna be a key player. So definitely something I'm hoping uh, she's gonna breed uh, maybe at the end of this year, maybe next year. Uh, we're definitely gonna try to get her going, but uh, she's smashing rats every single week. She's never skipped a meal. She's a great eater and uh, she's extremely healthy and I'm just so happy to have her in my collection and uh, looking forward to working really, really hard with her. So uh, you guys can take a look at her. She's absolutely beautiful. Um, she's a little shy. Uh, she also just ate, so I don't want to mess with her too much, but I definitely wanted to get some nice shots of her for you so you guys can take a look at her and, and see her and, 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 and all that stuff. So again, this is the lavender het pied, a uh, very key part of my pie project and can't wait to get her breeding and get her going. So check it out. Okay guys, so this is the second snake that I purchased from Billy. It was actually a holdback of his and he decided to uh, let her go to me. So it is a black pastel double het dreamsicle. So that basically means that she's het for pied and she's also het for lavender. So this will be able to make uh, dreamsicles, black pastel dreamsicles and anything of the heads in between. So 
Uh, she's a fantastic eater. She was about four or 500 grams when I picked her up. Uh, I would say about six months ago, like I said, and uh, she's never skipped a meal. Now she's approaching that thousand grams. She's also a snake that I'm hoping is going to breed next year or even possibly at the end of this year, as long as she continues uh, eating well. And if she decides to go, um, she's in shed right now. So she's got cloudy eyes and uh, cloudy body. So camera is not really going to pick up the nice coloration that she has but uh, very happy with her. Um, you know, she's got good size on her and she's very friendly and uh, definitely looking forward to this project. So again, this is the Black Pastel Double Het Dreamsicle, which also means Het Lavender and Het Piebald. Okay guys, so this is snake number three, of the first three originals that I bought again, like I said. This is just a regular pie, uh, sticking with the pie theme. Uh, I actually went with a low white version just because uh, I think the general consensus amongst uh, all the big breeders is the more pattern, the better. You can see more in the snake, obviously. Uh, and then when you start getting into pied combos, you'll be able to see all these uh, really interesting colors and mutations show a little bit better when there's more pattern. So this was another pickup that we did, uh, part of the, the trio. Uh, again, she's also a fantastic eater. Uh, she was a bit smaller when I got her. She was probably around three or 400 grams. Now she's around 700. So again, she's eating very well. She's definitely on track. As long as she continues eating as well as she does now, I uh, should be able to get her up to size uh, for the next breeding season and uh, get a clutch out of her, hopefully. So uh, we're definitely uh, on that path. So you can check her out. I mean, just a beautiful snake, low white. I just love the extra pattern on her uh, and as well the, the white on the neck there. Um, oh, she's getting off camera here. Uh, I don't want to mess with her as well too much because she actually just ate yesterday as well. Just wanted to make sure that you guys saw that. So another fantastic pickup. Again, that was the original three from Billy at Mutation Creations and uh, we'll showcase some more after. Hope you guys enjoyed the sneak peek on those three animals. Obviously I got a lot more animals I'm gonna show you guys, but not in today's video. I'm actually gonna separate them uh, because I ended up purchasing some other stuff from Billy that I'm gonna do on the next video. And then of course I've got my big shipment that I got. I actually did two shipments. Um, one, two, both of them from Justin Kibilka at uh, Justin Kibilka Reptiles. And um, I'm gonna showcase to you kind of the evolution over the next few videos of of how we started and, and, and where we were. So these first three animals that you just saw in the video were the first three that I started with. Okay, so the next question I get all the time, which I'm gonna answer today, is why are my animals here? I mean, all these labels on the rack that you see behind me are all my animals. We're in Billy Rose's facility, Mutation Creations, and people wanna know why is that? Well, okay, so basically what we decided to do was uh, work together with Billy rather than work against him. Uh, the reason why is because in order to produce the quality of animals that I want to produce, um, the amount of investment it would have required to purchase extremely expensive males uh, would have really hindered my ability to grow my collection of females. Most important thing, especially in the beginning, is females. I think a lot of new breeders really underestimate how important it is to develop your female count. Uh, I, I've even got guys messaging me on Instagram saying, hey man, you're doing it awesome, you're doing it well. You know, when I started, I bought two or three females and I had five males. You know, you, you just can't buy males when you're not ready for them, when you're not ready for the female. So the fact that we're new in this business, the fact that we're new in, in production, uh, the most important thing for me uh, was to really just develop an amazing army of females. Now, by pairing with Billy at Mutation Creations, we benefit in a lot of different ways. So A, I mean, check out this facility. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more of a tour later on in this video, but this facility is just next level. I mean, there is racks upon racks. We've got incubators, we've got three of them, you know, huge incubators. We've got ultrasound machines, the equipment, and the most important thing is experience. Billy has the experience. He's been doing this for 13 years. He's been a highly successful. He's produced a lot of worlds first, and you just can't buy that. It doesn't matter how much money you have, you cannot buy experience. So the chance to get to work with somebody who has that experience is, is just gonna help me grow that much faster. So that's what we're doing. We're combining our resources. By me not having to purchase any males right now or even in the future, I can reinvest all that capital and just get more females. Every uh, snake that I have behind me here, which is 24 snakes, 
all of them are females except for one and the one male which you guys have seen on my Instagram is obviously uh, the Batman which I'll get into in another video about that whole project so we stuck with uh, three major themes uh, coming from the three that we started with which I showed you already uh, one is clown two is freeway and three is dreamsicle slash pie uh, those are the three major projects that I'm gonna be working with and they're all female so in the next well not even 18 months I mean we've got about I've got about five or six females that are already at a thousand grams that I'll be producing um, including that lavender head pie that you just saw she's at a thousand grams the black pastel double head dreamsicle that you just saw she's at 950 grams so these are girls that could potentially go right away plus all the other stuff that I got so uh, for us it was just we couldn't pass up on that opportunity uh, we are basically gonna work at least one maybe two breeding seasons with Billy and then we'll decide I'll decide you know in the future whether or not I want to continue working with them which most likely I will even if I don't want to work with them on all the projects I'm still gonna work with them on some of them because you know who wouldn't want this whole thing and uh, we're just gonna utilize that to our advantage so that's basically it that's why we're here so if you don't follow me already on Instagram check me out it's evolving pythons Canada um, you're gonna see a lot of the stuff that I'm not showing in this video yet that you will see in future videos so enough of me talking let's check out the facility let's do a little bit of a tour and if you guys have any questions any comments any concerns please let me know this is my first video it was very difficult for me to come up with uh, this whole thing and, and, and make it as good as, as I hope it is so uh, please leave me a comment down below let me know what you thought of it what you'd like to see what you want me to do on my future videos so let's check out this facility hope you guys enjoyed it look forward to seeing you guys again.